Take it away, Old John Smokey. Oh, TSA, TSA, TSA took my spoons away. What the hell am I supposed to play when the TSA took my spoons away? Getting on the airplane or just the other week. When I passed the gate guard, he just started to speak. He said, oh, Mr. Smokey, I got to have your spoons. They were dangerous to our nation. Hell on all the soon. Oh, TSA. Oh my god, that was so good! We gotta start the show! Oh! MGWTF, hello, well, BBQ! Hello, you beautiful citizens of the universe! I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joining me not from OAK, but instead, uh, what, CIN? From the RNC, it's JRY, is that right? From BTN's, it's BTN's JRY. Uh, yeah, BTN's JRY from CLE, not, oh, whatever. not CIN. Oh, Cleveland. I thought yeah. it was Cincinnati. I'm sorry. Got it. Got it. Got no, it. Cleveland. Believeland, as they <laughs> Believeland. Uh, call it now. Uh, they uh, they uh, won the national or they won the NBA championship, and so now everybody says, "Well, we are the city of champions." To which I say, mm, "Champion, only one singular." <laughs> Had uh, one major championship since the sixties. One, one champion. You gotta, you gotta earn that S. Uh, holy cow! For those of you guys who don't know, Justin Robert Young has spent two days absolutely slaying it on BitTorrent uh, News' new coverage of the Republican National Convention, and uh, uh, it's it's been a busy couple days for me. But every moment I have three seconds, I, I open up the BitTorrent News stream, uh, which uh, there's a bunch of different apps you can lo- look all that crap up. I look at the bootleg one. Um, and, uh, it's, it's amazing to me, uh, with number one, how little stomach I have to watch the RNC. And so that's like, yeah. I watch your coverage and I'm blown away by your insight. And I think you do a fantastic job. And then at some point I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of that. And then I leave, but you don't get to leave. Do you? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I have, I've kind of been plugged in. Uh, this is a fantastic, we're literally on the set here right now. You can, you can see. That's our, our monitor, and then uh, if we look over here, that's the rest of the, the filing hall. Actually, right behind us right here is where the fine folks that are covering this for the New York Times are filing their stories. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a super fun thing, but I've been slotted in as effectively the, 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 the distance runner of, of everybody else. Everybody else has one-hour shows, you know, a, a block of one-hour shows at night and then a one-hour show in the evening. Me... I show up at six o'clock and I stay there until they are done putting people on the stage at the Quick and Loans Arena. I mean, but isn't that also like your special gift, your special talent, um, your special purpose, as it were? I mean, listen, like, you, uh, uh, folks, you don't you don't pick your talents in life, right? You know, it's just God God gave me uh, the the talent to stay on the on the internet and 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 stay making these jokes. So uh, last night I tuned in. Uh, I, I forget what I was doing, uh, but I got back and I was like, oh crap, I gotta see. Uh, he's live. He's live, and I got there just in time to watch you make a uh, a, a wrestling metaphor, uh, and then introduce the chaos on the uh, on the floor moment uh, that was the the political buzz of yesterday. And I just yeah. I was so excited that it sounds to me like uh, like you're getting the raw Justin Robert Young experience where it's like, hey man, we're gonna talk about wrestling on this news network. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I, mean, I can explain listen. this metaphor properly. Uh. My, my, my heroes, uh, in terms of broadcast, uh, I've kind of always been the, you know, a Dennis Miller variety where it's just like, I, I'm going to make a reference and the five people who are going to get it are going to love me. The 95 people are going to be confused, but I'm going to move so fast that they won't notice that there was a reference there five seconds ago. And maybe if they're interested, they can look it up on Wikipedia. Yes. So if anybody doesn't know who The Undertaker is and why it was really funny that Donald Trump copied his entrance yesterday, then whatever. They could either look it up or they could just, you know, laugh at it because they know it's funny. Uh, no, I loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, so, so, uh, all right, so talk through. I, I, I mean, I know the last thing you want to do is talk about any of this. Pretend you're Brian yeah. Rushwood and you have no stomach to watch eight hours of convention coverage, and instead you want to talk to your friend Justin Robert Young and just get the short highlights of what the last two days have been like. Okay, wait, do you want to know like what's happening on the floor? Or yeah, like, I don't know. What, I don't what know I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing here. Yes, both. All of the above. The funniest, <laughs> okay. The well, let's start with uh, 
well, okay. Wait, Number you know what? Nine. Actually, can we start with this? How the hell were you and Josh Rubin on screen together at the time I was at Josh Rubin's event being a panelist? And, uh, and, 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 and somehow I didn't know that Josh Rubin was there. And I assume Josh Rubin didn't know that you're my co-host on night attack. Uh, I, I don't know. We could call him over and, and ask him. He's literally like, like, Dude, five, get him, five, get five him over there. Get him by, call him over there right uh, now. You, hey, can, you Josh, can just shout for those of you guys who don't you know for like five seconds. <laughs> so, so for those of you guys who don't know, Josh Rubin, uh, is, uh, uh, uh he's, at the, he's at the daily dot. Oh, uh, we'll wait for this to fix out. Hey, Josh. Jerk! Yeah, you bastard! Hey, you're the one who agreed to show up in my panel, even though I wasn't. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah. So, so, okay. so I have no idea what what is happening until like uh, like last night, Brian. And I know you, and I know that you don't mean anything by it because you're very, very busy. But I haven't heard anything from Brian because we're we're both doing stuff and everything. So I get a Brian text message that's one. Hey, man, great job! I'm really excited. Number two, which I know is the only reason why he pulled out his phone to text. Which was, <laughs> Do you know Josh Rubin? <laughs> yeah, man. Josh Rubin's put together this amazing monthly event called Intro to the Austin Media Scene, where he's trying to get all the different media creators here on the internet uh, connected here in Austin so that we can, you know, if you need an editor, you can find an editor and all this stuff. And uh, and I'm all super flattered the fourth monthly does it that he invites me to be on the panel. And so I show up and I look everywhere for Josh and I'm like, where's Josh? Josh, where's Josh? And then people are like, oh, no, 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 he's covering the RNC. I was like, oh, my gosh, who's he covering with? BitTorrent. How cool is that? I was like, wait a minute, what? And then, <laughs> and then, I, and then I write Josh, like, what the hell is going on? And he just sends me a picture like, sup, bro? <laughs> so this, this is me and Josh. Uh, was this last night? It was no, last it was night. last yeah. night because I have my, my smart uh, brown cardigan sweater there. Uh, but yeah, no. So so we were working together uh, yesterday and today. We are part of the, the during, small but during dedicated the panel, crew. During the panel, we, are we allowed to swear on your show? Sure, yeah, Good, yeah. Right. During the panel, which you fully, everyone fully expects me to say fuck, I was just I was just doing this here instead. Like my my true superpower <laughs> is being on a panel and really feeling the audience out and knowing strategically when to just drop an when to drop the f bomb right for, for maximum effect. That's amazing. <laughs> it's, so uh, so yeah. Josh, did you know that Justin was my co-host on Night Attack when you when oh, you showed no, up I, there? No, because he comes up to me like it's a magic. Josh comes up to me like it's a magic trick this morning. And says, hey. Brian Brushwood says hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I know. I'm trying to impress Justin. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Uh, uh, dude, well, regardless, uh, congratulations, guys. It looks like you guys are totally, totally killing it. Uh, very, very well done. I appreciate that. Did you fuck up my panel, by the way? I, uh, I have not heard how it went. Uh, it, 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 was, it was good. It was good. It was good. I was great, and uh, I think some That's other people good. were there. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. As always, uh, yeah. For those of you guys who don't know, if you're in Austin, come out to one of these intro to the Austin media scene. It's it's really uh, what I love about Josh is that uh, a lot of people sit there complain. You know, I think it all began. I remember Josh sitting there saying like, "Hey, man, uh, uh, New York has a media scene. L.A. has a media scene. Austin doesn't have a media scene." And that would be the end of the discussion for 99% of us. But Josh is like. I'm going to start a scene. <laughs> and so he just starts getting people together. I just have such a deep-seated hatred of New York and L.A. <laughs> that I'm, I'm actually... Texas with a resentment of New York and L.A.? I've never, what? Heard, oh, I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah. I, 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 I'm doing it out of spite. That's Good. All. That's why I do most things. No, here's the funniest mm -hmm. thing. I have been on now for two days, right? And and by and large, I've gotten very, very nice things on, on Twitter about like what we're doing, and they very much enjoy the coverage, and they enjoy the tone. Personally, 100% of my either friends or family that have texted me have been about Josh. It was either, <laughs> or, or uh, of course, Josh, uh, who works uh, and is uh, very influential at uh, The Daily Dot, uh, which is a fine publication, uh, is friend or is used to be uh, the boss of Eric Geller, who uh, is, is a friend of mine. Uh, boss, maybe not the, not but, the but best. Boss there. probably wouldn't be. Okay. I, knows Eric Keller. I do know Eric Keller. Knows Eric Keller. And, uh, and so uh, all I get is, a, is a, a stream of text messages after we were doing the show today where he's like, oh, my God, you're on with all my old coworkers. This is super weird. <laughs> I'm fucking huge. I, you are Man, I'll tell you, I'll listen, I don't know where you are in the stature of society. I know that right now, like... You're big in Japan, baby. If Japan is out <laughs> on my iPhone, I'm down. 
All right. Well, look, uh, uh, Josh, thanks. Uh, do you have anything you want to plug before I send you off and we could talk about butts? I was not expecting this plug. I appreciate this plug. Uh, everybody keep watching us on uh, BitTorrent, uh, BitTorrent News. Yeah. And, uh, That's another thing. We got to get the nomenclature. Done. Yeah. We're having a, we're, we've heard like BitTorrent News, BitTorrent News Channel, BitTorrent News Network, BitTorrent yeah. News Live. Yeah, B- uh, BTM uh, rolls off the tongue. There, but yeah. BTLive.tv to download the app. Got it. Got it. All right. Uh, fantastic job, gentlemen. There we uh, go. Look how active that chat room is. That's a great chat room. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we, we were just having this conversation about chat rooms. Oh, about the... Uh, wait, hold Can on. Bon- Bonnie, are you muted? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is... You know, the audio listeners may have already noticed, but have you... Do you hear a different tone in in Justin's voice? It's so official and uh, oh, you you he's think oh, what's funny is voice I, on. Uh, well, what are you talking about? I th- I think he's loosey goosey as ever, man. Oh, I didn't say he's not. Oh no, I definitely have more. You know what I wind up doing is like I, if, especially when it just gets a little loopy, I wind up falling into this like uh, uh, clever Price is Right contestant kind yeah. of uh, voice. <laughs> Where it's just like uh, uh, you know, like like well, uh, looks like Ben Carson wants to hammer that point home, like he did or tried to do his mother's skull. What? what? Wait, what? Well, that's actually true. He wrote a book about how he got very angry one time and came after his mother with a hammer. Tell uh, me, tell me, you talked but, about this on BTN. Oh, uh, of course I did. Oh, yeah, so, oh good. My so, gosh. Good. so good, so good, so good. Wow. <laughs> Hey, oh, by the way, so yesterday you were featured in a roundup. Uh, I forget which publication it was. Uh, some publication said, like, hey, man, what about these other jerks at the RNC? Let's let's all take pictures of their booths. And uh, they're Gawker. all like, Gawker. okay, so Gawker, Gawker, yeah. Gawker yeah. runs around and takes photos. And, like, the best they could come up with for BitTorrent is like, huh, BitTorrent's here. Something about the dark web. Uh, and meanwhile, your shot looks badass. You got you're you're full of people. You're full of equipment. You guys are on point and kicking ass. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's Josh. Look at that. Yeah, Josh holding court. Look at him. Yeah, it was it was awesome. Out of everyone, you guys end up looking the best. Uh, yeah, which is funny because literally that's the first day we were in existence officially. So it's like the idea that like they were that the Gawker was just like for those of you who enjoy news and the dark web. It's like well, thank you for treating us like a thing that exists. Like we were literally <laughs> it's it's like, like it's like no seriously, sticks. we're honored even to be nominated. <laughs> this yeah. is a, this is a, still a great night. Let me actually send this to Bryce, and I apologize for anybody uh, who is hearing the click of my. Of my mic, oh. but uh, or actually, should I, uh, Bryce? What, what's the best way for me to get a photo to you? Uh, Skype or email. So okay. Uh, email Nesh. Nesh comment Gmail. That per- oh, okay. I didn't question. know if I could give that. Out. We give it out every week on weird things. <laughs> I know. I didn't think of. I didn't think it through. I I knew that it was just a bad idea to unthinkingly mention <laughs> someone else's email. email. <laughs> I appreciate the, the hygiene on that. Oh man. Sorry. What were you saying, Bon? Oh, what is dark web? Oh, oh wait. Do you not know oh, what the dark web is? Okay, so but um, what kind? Let me tell you some are. features of the dark web, okay. and you can t- you can guess what kind of content is on there. Is it go-see? Um, it's websites <laughs> that ju- none of them. Uh, they all uh, exempt themselves from all search engines. Oh. Also, they don't even have uh, URLs because you would have to register that with uh, with uh, ICANN. Is that Ooh, right? Is that what it is? Cool. Yeah. So it's ju- okay. <laughs> Ooh, Bonnie, I wish you hadn't said that. Oh, no. It's what bad. kind of content do you yeah, think? Yeah, why do you think you would have to be exempted from all uh, regulation and uh, any kind of prying eyes? I, I, I feel like... I feel like I know where you're going with that, and I really regret saying like, anything <laughs> that's cool. about it. <laughs> but I like the idea as, like, an, as an art person. I'm like, oh, what could you do with well, that? Well, and there is you legitimate know? aspects. Uh, for example, political dissent and that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, also, so much child pornography. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's a real clearinghouse for it, so I'm glad you've made your statement clear, Bonnie. Uh, we will be responding to this <laughs> okay, in kind. my response is officially, ew. Wait, so, oh, wait, so you hate freedom of speech? Oh! <laughs> Excuse a word. Why do you hate against free speech? Why do you hate George Washington? We ask her next. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, what, what did you send over to us, Je- uh, Justin? Uh, you got to understand, 
that this, when I went to uh, Des Moines and Manchester to do the contender events, I thought it was saturated with media. That is nothing like what we are looking at here, where almost everybody that you are bumping into, especially in the credentialed areas, which is where I am for a vast majority of the time, is either a delegate right. or a media person. And there are far more media people than there are so delegates. E- either, so to either... wind up having random stuff like this just appear in my Twitter feed, which was somebody taking a screenshot of me <laughs> on Dutch television. Oh, that's amazing! Uh, for audio listeners, the when you first look at this photo, imagine a random high school's hallway just being shot that, at that, any that one time. Con, that is the concourse of the Quick and Loans Arena. Right, uh, and then uh, imagine you know you see somebody kind of squinting, uh, you know, some woman walking, and then as if he's uh, the the newly transferred student from Chump <laughs> High, <laughs> looking schedule in hand, <laughs> schedule in hand, looking I know. for. That's a I'm sorry, reporter. is this political science? <laughs> Is is Justin Robert Young in the background? <laughs> yeah, it does look like I'm nervous to talk to a girl at school. <laughs> it's adorable. Lady in blue. That's, oh, that's great. That's the other thing for our, our audio listeners. He's wearing this like really charming sweater. Yeah, with a cute shirt cardigan. And tie. He's adorable. <laughs> oh golly, I hope I could talk to that wincing blonde woman. <laughs> she well, looks like she way, just the smelled reason- a fart. The reason why that is happening is because the gigantic drama that erupted over Monday was that a bunch of an organization of people wanted to basically hijack the nomination from Donald Trump, which is a gross oh, yeah. oversimplification from what they actually wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, we got we got video here. <laughs> Justin genuinely looks like he's trying. Okay, so in my mind, I'm just thinking he wants to hit on the blonde woman in the green shirt. She, she <laughs> and he's oh, no, his head. not the not the not the blue lady. Oh no, actually yes. Uh, yeah, you're like, oh, do I make a Monica Lewinsky blue dress joke? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, man. oh, Brian. What? It's the Republican convention. <laughs> so oh, no, they're the ones Brian. making that joke. That's actually legit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here's the other funny thing is you never know who you're going to run into at this kind of media event. Because guess who I spent half the day with? Oh, geez. Uh Man, I don't know. Friend of the show, a dear friend of the Night Attack program. Uh, it oh, was wait, not uh, Alex Jones, despite the fact that Alex Jones is indeed here. Alex Jones almost nearly started a riot by uh, running into a anti-Trump protest. Did, did, well, hold on. Did I see this correctly? Did uh, did uh, Tim Heidecker from Tim and Eric fame grab a mic and do a Alex Jones impression? Is that a thing? A very I, good one. Eric Andre, I believe. No, uh, also oh, Tim, Tim Heidecker did one too. Here, uh, we have it here. Is this a new thing where everybody yeah, just does Alex yeah. Jones impressions? Well, yeah, here, they, here they we copied go. you. Oh, no, oh, here, that's a convention, all right? Because yeah, we are going to take our <laughs> party back, ladies and gentlemen. I did not look too long. Our bless me, like uh, Turn Blossom. Turn Blossom, Mr. Uh, what's his name? The little scumbag. Trump. 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 We don't have no time for him. Thank you, guys. All right, take care. Visit my website. Buy my pills, okay? There's nothing in there but powder. There's nothing in there but baking soda. But believe me, it's going to make you feel You're real gonna good. You're going to get my bacon soda? <laughs> Or baking soda. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, now man. I'm just annoyed that I have to play an actual journalist and I can't just screw around doing an Alex Jones impression. <laughs> now I'm just real annoyed. Okay, so it's not Alex Jones. Um, oh man, it's is not. It, was, it's not Tim Heidecker. Well, uh, was it? Was it Will Harris? Tonight at that show. What? Was it Will Harris? It was not Will Harris, although uh, he would probably be more suited for the Democratic Convention. I know he, he volunteered for, for Obama, uh, I think, in 08. So he'd probably be more of a Democratic Convention kind of guy. Yeah, well, well but he's also working for uh, Condé Nast now, so I figure he might be there to help with coverage in some respect. Maybe, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, none of them. Some people have it in the chat room. Hey, is it John C. Dvorak? It is not. Pow! Uh, <laughs> No, it is your friend and mine, Ali Spagnola. Why is Ali Spagnola at the Republican National Convention? Um, imagine my shock when I was faced with the same question. <laughs> oh my God, look at this Instagram feed. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> 
She's just perching like Spider-Man Eagle Woman on, on so she, random right. things at the here's, RNC. Here's Ali Spagnola, all right? <laughs> I go meet up with her. Ali Spagnola is getting paid by Cleveland.com. By the way, the former version, uh, the newspaper that Cleveland.com became was the Cleveland Plain Dealer, one of the most respected newspapers in the industry. Now they're Cleveland.com. They've got a gigantic event here. This is her playing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame um, this evening. In fact, if there's, if there's no after show tonight, it's going to be because I want to go out and, and uh, drink with her because this is the most surreal experience ever. Uh, <laughs> but she... Uh, is is getting paid by Cleveland.com to snap for today, just today. She got she's getting flown out for all four days. She's just Snapchatting with them for four days. But because she's an overachiever, oh sure, she wants to do it all themed. So she's wearing uh, by uh, Eric. Come on, high five, Eric, Eric uh, Schwartz, the the mastermind of uh, BitTorrent News here, saying goodbye. The man. Who uh, uh, gave me a job here at uh, <laughs> at the Brooklyn National Convention, as well as the Democratic one? I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow, bro. Cheers. Uh, so her Snapchat is is going wild, but she wants to have this theme. So the entire time, she's like, "Oh, okay, I'm an eagle." <laughs> and by so, the way, she looks the part, both in in the eagle sweater that she's wearing. Full, her whole uh, midsection is an eagle's beak. She's wearing America pajama pants or yoga pants. Uh, but more importantly, she's channeling the spirit of an eagle in the respectful way she gazes upon all that is her territory to prey upon. Uh, but she also, and, and I don't know if, if anybody can, if, if we can get any kind of uh, download of the Cleveland.com uh, snaps today, but she also is doing videos wherein she is pretending to be an eagle while asking people questions or making <laughs> observations. Okay, all right, all right. So what are the aspects of an eagle one can show? So channel? by the way, let's just real quick, let's go ahead and, and, and walk this back just a few seconds. I'm in Cleveland covering yes. the Republican National Convention. And by the way, Monday, we wind up breaking national news 20 minutes before CNN did. So there is, there is a very weird like surreal kind of sense to it. Then I find out that Ali Spagnola is going to be here. Then I go meet Ali Spagnola, only to find out that she has a, a handler who is with her, with Cleveland.com, to make sure that she, I assume, is snapping correctly. And her role is to think of eagle puns and eagle jokes or places to perch. That That's what she's doing is... for Cleveland.com. Amazing. God damn, do I love the internet. So, <laughs> this is the world in which we live. So we're out on Media Row, uh, which is a radio row. This is, without getting too wonky, this is basically where a lot of print people are or big news media uh, broadcast outlets, like Fox News is about you know five seconds to my right here. Uh, she is in Radio Row, where a lot of the celebrities and, and political figures go to just do like 19 radio shows in five seconds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's just walking around. That's, that's her, yeah, Make America a Gin is, is what she is, uh, you know, change the Make America Great Again hat to. Uh, so she's like, she's walking around and she's like, uh, I don't know, uh, is that a cave? Maybe it could be a cave. Okay, hold on. And then she just, you know, does her, uh, of course, because she's amazing at Snapchat. She has, like, her perfect Snapchat angle. And uh, she's like, I believe I've come upon a cave. Maybe I'll nest. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, got it. <laughs> so then uh, I'm like, all right, listen, you got to get out here because she hadn't seen any of the, like, protests. Like, to get to where, from where I am to Quicken Loans, uh, did, I have did to Did you walk finally by. find the protests you were looking for? I, I, watched your, <laughs> your, I watched your periscope of 20 minutes of you looking around and you're like, where's the goddamn protest? So, all right, the first one, I made two periscopes. The first one was because I got uh, a, an alert from everybody else here at BitTorrent that was like, oh, crap, you might not even want to come in right now. Apparently, protests have shut down the streets. And I'm like, they did. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like so, I'm like running into the protest because uh, that's super fun and I like to do that, and I can't find one. 
the the, the next uh, day I wound up uh, getting in the middle of a big gigantic protest, which was super fun. But uh, uh, on the way to Alley today, it was racial arguments were literally littering the streets. And not even between protesters. Just between two random people, usually black and white, uh, were yelling at each other about race. And, uh, okay, this was the protest that actually uh, happened. Uh, and if this you is this where the they middle, had the, 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 the robot Cyberman bicyclists uh, squadron? Uh, yeah, yeah. They were actually really, I'll tell you, there's actually, uh, you got to give a big ups to the, to the, the, the police force and security force here because like they apparently from what we've heard, they've communicated really well with the protesters and they've like made sure that they've gotten them what they want as safely as possible. And a lot of that is doing little stuff like having bikes on either side of the road. So they have a barrier between the, uh, the them and people, people who want to get in their face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just like that one level of social problem if somebody just wants to scream something and, and start a fight and turn a protest into a riot, basically. Right. Um, but uh, so I'm going and I'm dodging all this like, like, well, what are you ever done? And, you know, like you know, these racial arguments. And, and because it's the it's the, you know, the RNC, you can't scream and yell about race, which, by the way, is probably happening right now at every bar in Cleveland as everybody just gets too drunk and starts saying things that they'll probably regret tomorrow. But because it's happening in the middle of the day, everybody's got their phones out. So nobody can yell at somebody else about their racial opinions, which I don't uh, condone in any sense. But they are doing that and 50 people are surrounding them. Oh, my God. You realize if we were both there and you weren't working for BitTorrent, it would be a different thing. We would walk into the middle of the the, the street and shout, Black people! Three, four, five, six, seven. (laughs) Love Night Attack on every Tuesday live (laughs) at 10 p.m. Eastern at Night Attack at Diamond Club. White people! (laughs) people! Five, six, seven. <laughs> Love night attack. Ten <laughs> p.m. Eastern. So, uh, so I'm talking everything until I'm like, Ali, you gotta come out. Hold on, by the way, Curtis Larock says in the chat. I, I mean, I do. It's, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> and we love Curtis. Yeah. He's amazing. So, uh, uh, so I get I get to Allie. I'm like, Allie, you got to get out of here, man. Like, this is where all the fun stuff that you should be staffing is. And she's like, okay, cool. So she walks out. And the first thing we see, and I hope somebody can get into her Snapchat to, to take a picture of this. And I hope that she published it. But the first thing we have is just one of those uh, church demonstrator protesters where they've got the, like, Dr. Seussian three signs on one stick. Yeah, kind of yeah, boom, yeah. Right? And so there's three of them, and one of them has, like, a megaphone. And now that I've heard so much megaphone yelling over the past 48 hours, I've started to find elements of it that I love, which is this. Because they're, by and large, very, very good carnival barkers. They always have something else to say. But every once in a while, there's a glitch in the Matrix. And that happened while we were walking there with Allie, where they just flub a little bit. So this guy's like, Jesus Christ is here for you. He will return and your sins will be washed away. To turn away from Jesus is to return hell on earth. You know? (laughs) Hell on earth. He just has that little panic. That little panic and he just sounds like a person talking instead of somebody yelling (laughs) into a megaphone. Oh, that's amazing. (laughs) Uh, and so, Allie, you've seen the perch pictures. Sure. And all we're walking by, and I'm like, Allie, you got to perch in front of these, <laughs> in front of the protesters. <laughs> and so she did. I took a picture of Allie perching in front of it. Hopefully, we can find it if, uh, if, if, if she posted it. So, somebody go to cleveland.com Snapchat and see if we can't get that. All right. So before we move on, uh, <laughs> how, how, number one, how much longer do you have and, and how do you rate the experience so far? Uh, Wednesday and Thursday are uh, the last two days of the RNC. Uh, so far, I mean, hell, I, I actually uh, it, it's been amazing. You know, I, you know that that I always love having, uh, you know, being around new projects. It's always fun to build something. And uh, this is certainly building something. 
uh, it, it, this is a great team and everybody's very responsive. For everybody who's been watching, number one, thank you so much. Uh, we are working on the streaming solution. Know that the reason why we were streaming crappily to YouTube Live was because of things out of our control. We're doing our best to make sure that not only are we on more platforms, but better platforms. And my big thing is like, we need a chat room. We need to have, find some solution where we can just have a chat room because I know, even for me, like it's way easier for me to do these gigantic marathon live streams if I have a, a chat room tied to exactly what we want. Well, to it's, it's a literal team serving up suggestions like uh, like like you could watch 10 bad ideas come by before one observation comes up. You're like, oh, that's interesting. That's something we haven't talked about 12 times. Let's let's chase down that rabbit hole. Yeah. So, I mean, Twitch has been mentioned. There we go. That's the picture. <laughs> She is perched majestically as an eagle in front of three triple threat uh, uh, protest signs. And by the way, just the line, the, the, the Pope is an antichrist. Beware of false prophets. And God will bring you judgment. Now is the day of salvation. I think my favorite is all big cap letters is repent. And then in parentheses, explaining what that means. By repent, we mean turn from sin. <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so thank you to everybody who's watching it. If you want to download, I think easily the best stream is the BitTorrent Live app. That is on uh, television, uh, or uh, sorry, Apple TVs, the newer ones where you can download apps, and on Amazon Fire. So if you have any of those two, the OS X app is uh, coming soon. But we are getting a live streaming solution uh, going. Uh, Twitch is something that I have, I have floated, and I hope will happen, and I hope it will happen tomorrow. Uh, dude, that's fantastic. Uh, I, and by the way, uh, what I adore about all the coverage, and, and we, we got to move forward, but but what I adore about the coverage is, is it's a very BitTorrent uh, attitude to it, where it's like, step one, go. Step two, figure it out. You know, it's yeah. like it's it's like, look, man, we got an opportunity. We got the bandwidth. We have the distribution method. Uh, let's let's figure out the rest later. Go. Let's let's uh, put put a TV in there. Get get Josh Rubin and Justin Robert Young there. Make this happen uh, for video watchers. I'm I'm now live on the set of uh, of Big yeah. Door you News. are watching yourself talk. I know. Oh, now I'm watching myself talk, and I'm wearing that smart cardigan. That's amazing. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Here's one thing that'll never let us down, and that is patreon.com slash night attack. Thank you to everybody who has supported us on that platform. Uh, uh, a lot of people have asked me. I've run into a lot of these media people. Some of them have been friends of mine in, in a past life, and they're like, well, man, what have you been doing? And I'm like, getting this money, bitch, <laughs> on patreon.com because I have not a daddy who sends me out or an old gray lady who says, go get the news. <laughs> no, I have a loving community of amazing people who want the kind of content that they want in their life. And that's why we do a Patreon at patreon.com slash night attack. Hey man. So, uh, it's time for my favorite game. You know, uh, we, we got a bump in patrons. We went up, we're at 1601 right now. And uh -huh. my favorite person is probably jogging right now. Oh, damn. <laughs> Probably running around, thinks uh, everything's cool. But I'm talking about and thinking about you, Ariel Tabak, T-A-B-A-K. Ariel. Ariel. Dude. Ariel. <laughs> Tabak. <laughs> so, so what are we, are we going to make a rap song out of this? Ariel Tabak. Tabak. Ariel Tabak. <laughs> Ariel to back. Ariel, Ariel to from back. front to back. Ariel to from back. Front to Ariel back. to back. All right. Uh, look, uh, if you want us to shout out your name randomly, please, please, please hit us up at yeah. patreon.com slash night attack. Join the ranks of the proud. 1,601 of you. One of you being Ariel to back. Ariel, Ariel to back. Damn. You ever, man, remember that time Ariel was like, we should found the nation of Israel. <laughs> Well, I remember that time, <laughs> and what's weird is I was like, Ariel, the, the nation of Israel already exists. <laughs> yeah, turns out he didn't do that. That was a test to see if you really knew who Ariel <laughs> okay. was. All right, all right, all right. Speaking he of tests. barely. Hey, man, speaking of tests, as Bryce points out, uh, we now have joining us live uh, hey. movies with Mikey Fane. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I've been drinking and watching Justin all day. So. Oh, dude. Oh, oh no. well, thank you, Not Mikey. All. It's the only way. How you doing, Mikey? Uh, well, uh, great, actually. Uh, you made the RNC palatable. That That's tough to watch. Like, I was watching it with my friend here, and there's uh, his name's Sam. He works at Gearbox with me. There was this moment where uh, Donald Trump Jr. was speaking – and you guys didn't talk for a while, and he was yeah. like, I can't watch this anymore. Yeah, all of a sudden, just like, left. No, that was left. when the coverage was at its weakest, when you realized that you were just watching the RNC, <laughs> and you're like, ah, what's happening? And by well, the way, yeah. that's not I partisan. Mean, that's, I'm that's, sure that's true for both the DNC and the RNC. Of course, of course. That's the, the, problem, the problem is, is that, like, there are some speeches that you want to talk, you want to listen to, like, because you just know that they're going to be talked about a lot, and you know that you're going to have to talk about them more. And then there's some that were just like, all right, listen, man, I'm sure Tiffany Trump's a nice, a nice lady, and apparently she's got a single that came out on Amazon, uh, you know, <laughs> like back in the early aughts. But, like, I don't know. I'm sure she's nice, but I don't, I'd rather just talk about Charmander if we could just try to draw a political allegory First here. First edition holographic Charmander. That's my card. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, how's the how's the Pokemon Go action over there? I don't. I have not played it. I refuse. Oh no! Wait. What about what about at the RNC? Is there is there? Oh, dude. Around? There's some weak bitch gyms up in this shit, man. <laughs> it's like, wait. Like, uh, I, oh, did I hear a car? Oh crap! Yeah, no, I got the belt. I got the belt. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, there's, uh, I mean, I was very excited. I evolved a, a 900 plus CP Vaporeon. Uh, that was wow. very exciting for me. Uh, and otherwise, a lot of drowsies, a lot of drowsies around. All right. You know, it, it, it's been very interesting. I'm now navigating above level 15 uncharted waters. Pokemon Go update that brought to you by Hardee's. Hardee's, it's food, question mark. <laughs> uh, sponsored by Carl's Jr. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like yeah, the yeah. idea. That Hardee's here. brought to you by Carl's Jr. Powered that by moment Carl's when you're Jr. a kid and you realize that Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are the same thing. You're like, you lied to me. Well, and that, yeah. that's the you weirdest part. There were two different chains. We uh, we talked about this a lot. <laughs> uh, I know. Hey. There's a lot of time spent to the duplicity of Hardy's and Carl's Jr. We, we got figure, beef. <laughs> I, or they guess they got like, beef. Hardy's Hardy shows up and you just Somebody turn on the me. light and you're like, where have you been, Hardy's? <laughs> or should I say, Carl's Jr. <laughs> Carl's Jr. It's Walking Dead. If, uh, actually, if Carl's Jr. could get a Walking Dead. Like cross promotion, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to wait for Carl to get old enough to make a baby and name him after himself. <laughs> well, the other the only thing about Carl's Junior Hardy is that I never had one where I grew up, so I'd always see advertisements for not one but two different restaurants I what? could never go to. And and plus also they're like they're like what's with these MFers using the same logo? Like doesn't one of them care that the other Who one's stealing their stuff? Who do you think you're fooling? You're <laughs> Garbage piles. All, all of you. us, apparently. because All right, hey, talking about garbage piles, I'm sure I'm going to eat a pile wow. of garbage. Okay, so that's funny. Uh, this is funny for a lot of reasons. That, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, I knew I it. Saw, I actually just kind of considered that you, uh, you got a heads up on what this was about. No, I have no idea what it's about. Garbage but I know piles that, is not too far off. I know that our Vegas odds maker... Uh, released a a tweet with a picture of cover of the actual Vegas odds on the action. Uh, so it's favoring you. Yeah, this is what, I mean, no, no, I'm, no, I'm I'm favored because yeah, I'm the better uh, bet. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. In so far as I'll pay off better because nobody expects oh, me to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so right now the line which has, is which has minus... been the case every time, right? Uh, you yeah, guys have lost much. both times. Hey, uh, except except uh, uh, except for when we're naming U.S. capitals, <laughs> in which case, not Brian, but Admiral Nelson is the best. Okay, oh, you do a pretty good Admiral Nelson impression. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 that was a tape I played of him. So, good kayfabe, good kayfabe, good kayfabe this week. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to really push it uh, today, though. All right, it's fair. I didn't know Jerry was gonna be doing. Uh, the RNC really when I when I put this idea together. So this actually just is happenstantial. Okay. That that uh, between you and uh, Mr. Brushwood, you guys kind of guessed the whole quiz between what you guys just said. So uh, are you guys ready to yeah, play? Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Sure, we have no yeah. idea what. Uh, for those of you guys or who don't know, Mike he joins us once a month to uh, oh, to yeah, quiz sorry. us with one of his notoriously difficult challenges. Go for it. Yes, this one this one is notoriously notoriously difficult. Who said it? Donald Trump, 
the garbage pail kids <laughs> or neither. Oh, damn. Oh. You got to throw that neither in there. Or, 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 as or Mikey. hard as it's ever going to get. All right. All right. This, this, I think, might set it right. So let me, let me give you one piece of information. Because uh, I have a friend uh, stay with me for a couple of days, and I let him help me on the bits of this quiz. We yeah. walked away for 30 minutes, and then I asked him to give me the quiz. I got 13 out of 15. No! <laughs> and I wrote the quiz. So. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Well, I'm going to let you this know is now. big. I, I'm going to probably, the only way that I'm going to know is if I recognize the Trump quotes. That's pretty much it. Because uh, right I, now, I, I, I will tell you, you're not going to recognize any of them. Like I, I'm not going to be pulling out, you know, the banning of Muslims or obvious things. Oh yeah. no, no, no! None of but, these end in dot sad. Like no, these are these are hard. I mean, I, I'm just saying that's literally the only way that I will be able oh, to book okay. it. Okay, oh, that's fine. So like, you're screwed. That's, that's it. Right. Because I mean, I mean, keep me, in mind, keep in mind, I'm so bad at these quizzes that my first thought was. If I just say Trump on everyone, I'll probably get a third. Okay. <laughs> like that, that's my better option. Uh, actually, I will spoil one thing. There's only four Trump quotes. Oh, oh, now we know. Now we so know. Actually, which adds a metagame element. It helps you guys a little bit. You're gonna be counting yeah. and thinking. Got so, it. Got it. Okay. Uh, All right. This I, is good. I I feel okay giving that out because it's a competition. And here 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 we go. All right. Uh, Brian, you're gonna guess first. Roger. Number one. Here's the quote. I see these kids, okay, everywhere I see these kids, and they are disgusting. <sighs> All right, well, I feel like the okay is very clearly injected to be Trumpish, and uh, Mikey is known for throwing us off a scent, but also Mikey's clever enough to know that maybe that's what you do right at the outset. So I'm gonna know me go, too well. I'm gonna go with Trump. I'm gonna go with Trump. I'm gonna say the obvious one. It's gonna be Trump. Justin, what okay. say you? Uh, I'm going to say that that is neither. The correct answer is neither. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot to point out. Uh, I went ahead and filled this out ahead of time. I give you guys garbage pail names. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's Brian, Brian Driftwood, Driftwood and, and Justin Tr Gross shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your garbage, those are your garbage pail kids. I feel like that might go on my graphic uh, for my, my intervention <laughs> tomorrow. Justin Gross shit. All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. Justin, you are answering first on this one. All right. N number two. Here's a quote. Do you mind if I sit back a little because your breath is very bad? <laughs> that is Donald Trump. Ryan Brushwood. I'll go with Trump as well. You are both correct. Yeah! Okay, all right. See, now that one I actually knew cold, and I wish Brian oh, had gone that's first. that's interesting. Oh, oh, were you acting? We're like, oh, I don't know, I guess maybe no, Trump. No, I had to. That's a good if, way to if, fool you. If, so. if I weren't so tired, I would have done the full, like, Oh. <laughs> oh. Metagame? Well, I'm already metagaming you, so if you guys could add this whole like metatextual metagame to it, yeah. Oh no, great. this is getting like Inception great. level meta. This, yeah, as we go down this rabbit hole, it is gonna get worse <laughs> and worse. Uh, Brian, you were answering first on question three. Roger. It loses a little something in translation. Now let's add a little sparkle to our merchandise. It's got to be garbage pails, kids. Because there's no reason Trump would be saying that, and also we're f a lot of questions in and haven't had a, a garbage pail kid. I'm gonna go Wait, neither. What? what? Neither. You went neither. Uh, the answer is garbage pail kid. Yeah! Brian, Brian Driftwood got us. You guys are tied. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, uh, come dude, on, that like action. Always, I'm gonna make that bet pay off. The problem kids. is like. I know you, I know Mikey actually thinks about this like placement of, of how many things. And I'm like, no, Mikey thinks about it. So he won't do one, two, three. He'll <laughs> stagger a two together because yeah. it's three options. And then Not the next so. time I will what you do don't one. think of is Mikey knows that we know he knows we know. I know. That's, that's I, know. That. <laughs> I know that you know that I know that you know that I know. Exactly. <laughs> Justin, gross shit. Yeah. <laughs> <First answer. laughs> 
Well, I had to do the three names. By the uh, way, I do feel shit. like there is a part of me as I sit amongst, like, you know, the, the, the remnants of the career I could have had if I didn't squander it, and somebody calls me Justin Gross shit, that I have to look at, like, is okay, this a nightmare? Okay, to be fair, I'm super proud of you today, because your cover oh, today was amazing, so, like... <laughs> Now we're ribbing you. I'm just saying that we are, we are, we are, if somebody walked up, if, 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 if a dog in a suit walked up to me and said, Justin, this is a dream, I would be like, okay, makes sense. <laughs> All right, number four, going to Justin first. Yeah. I don't like potato salad. It's, it's too, it's too, what I like is a good casserole. <laughs> Potatoes are German. Wait, what was the last part? Okay, I'll repeat the whole quote. Okay. I don't like potato salad. It's too, it's too, what I like is a good casserole. Potatoes are German. <laughs> Potatoes are German or or German? Are German. A -R -E. So, so it's two statements German. side by side. <laughs> <laughs> One that he well, likes the casseroles, the Trump. other that potatoes are German. Okay. That's Donald Trump. I don't think it's Donald Trump. I honestly think it's neither. However, I also know I'm inherently bad at all these games, so tactically I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna God. bunt. Mexican I'm gonna bunt. I'm no, gonna bunt. Good. I mean, I'm not in the Greek chorus. The Greek chorus of of, of Bryce Neskov Castillo <laughs> is is echoing the audience. That's fine. That's fine. Look, look, half the time I won't be able to make this play, but I am going to, I'll do the same. I'll say that's Trump. It's neither. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. But you got it. You got to hand it to him. You really captured the, Good. uh, no, I know. The and the thing is like, don't be obvious when you capture Trump. Don't be like sad and all, you know, don't do the obvious stuff. Don't write very seven no, times. What, a row. Was, what was great Just is sound like your brain doesn't work. Yeah. What was what was what was great about it is that he does have this habit of like pointing out awkward, like racial or national things that are misunderstandings. And, yeah, uh, like my favorite. Dude, was, dude like, I did a victory lap when I when I figured out potatoes are German. No, <laughs> no, 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 no one actually, would ever believe that I made that up. But you and know, yet, and yet. One of my yeah. favorite like political tweets over the last week was uh, predicting both candidates' reaction to Pokemon, jo uh, Pokemon Go, where it was Hillary saying, I hope you Pikachu's me in November. <laughs> <laughs> and, Trump, and Trump saying, well, <laughs> well, Mewtwo's obviously Jewish, and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Oh, was, my God. Wow. But well, that, that is a very potatoes or German kind of uh, kind of kind of quote. All right, so here we go. All right, so now uh, now I have to screw it up. To Brian Driftwood, yeah. Number five. The quote is, "This is a dashiki given to me by the great African leader Umtata in gratitude for making his mother-in-law disappear." <sighs> God damn you, Mikey Newman. <laughs> oh. Uh, let me clarify one thing real quick. As we get deeper, you will realize that this gets really bad. All the Garbage Pail uh, Kids quotes, uh, just pulling from the movie would have been too much. Uh, and because there's no transcripts of the Garbage Pail Kids cartoon Cards. show, I did watch all of them with my friend Sam over four hours. All right, one more, one more time. One more time. Yes, there was a Garbage Pail Kids cartoon show, <laughs> which I did not know before today. And now I know it's really bad. Okay, uh, <laughs> reading it again. This is a dashiki given to me by the great African leader Umtata in gratitude for making his mother-in-law disappear. I'm going to say neither. That's a Garbage Pail Kids cartoon quote that is so obscure that Mikey had to watch all of them today to, to rest them out. Way to metagame, sir. You get a point. Justin got it right. God it damn it. Felt cartoon I, quote. I, to be honest, I felt like it was too obvious. It was too obviously from that's, uh, had that's a why context. I yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right. That was that was well that was well played. Justin, this is yours first. Number six. Right. Have you ever seen a person too poor to eat soup? No, because it's soup. Oh, <sighs> Is this Seinfeld? All I gotta say, if, if Mikey made that up, you're a bad person. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Metagame says it's neither. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I say neither. Yeah, I'll say neither too. Wow, you guys like metagamed the metagame because it is neither. Yeah! 
I thought there's no fucking way <laughs> anyone would figure that because it's too subtle to be made up. No, it's it's also um it's also not extraordinary. That's that's what my uh, that, that that's was where my the meta game comes in. You guys. Well, no, because like uh -oh. literally, I it's a great Trump quote. It's almost a perfect Trump quote. It sounds right? like something he would in say fact, on The Apprentice. Too, it's too perfect, yeah. In fact, no, no, no. I almost think it's so perfect that it is only neither because you just haven't found where he almost assuredly has said it in print. Actually, at this actually point, if, right? the, if the viewers tonight could do us a real service, like a, this is a real duty, uh, your national duty, if you guys could take all the not Trump quotes and put them on Trump's picture and just start tweeting them, Oh, dude, like uh, 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 that, Neil deGrasse don't, Tyson don't, style. Don't like put his name on there. Just put it in quotes on his picture because yeah. then it's true and people are dumb for believing it. Which I is mean, because that's the thing. If he it. actually said that, there would have to have just been like hashtag soup like all over my Twitter feed at some if point. For, if like, we can make hashtag soup happen, I would feel like we really made a difference. Uh, all right, so let's go. Brian's question? Uh, no, yes. Yes. Number seven. I have an attention span that's as long as it has to be. This is, forget everything we said before. This is the perfect Trump quote. Uh, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Trump. I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll believe it. If, if you did make it up, you captured the essence of it. Huh. It's down to Trump or garbage fail. Because what which, which Mikey is has been. amazing quote. It what I what, what Mikey has been coy about is that we now know that he did this extraordinary amount of research, so he's got to be finding stuff that he is putting in there. I, I this is very much a Trump kind of quote, but it's almost too benign for Trump. I'm going to say garbage pail. Oh come on, it is Trump. Yeah. Ryan <laughs> Brushwood brings it back. Mm, 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 four and mm. four. Oh, this next one. Oh, this my beautiful baby birds. <laughs> I'm gonna chew up this beautiful question worm. <laughs> I'm in I'm her gonna mouth. feed it to you. Here we go. Number eight. This is going to Justin first, I believe. All right. You can't treat me like that. I'm expensive. That like garbage pail. Yeah, no, GPK. You guys both like called that out immediately. Oh my god. I am surprised. So both we right. right? That, I mean, you guys got that. I thought that was going to be hard. I'm in, I'm wrong. Dude, the chat room's got it, too. All the GPKs coming wow, in. Wow, all right. Yeah. You got to figure out the garbage. Well, because you got to figure, if it's if, if you said that the Garbage Fail Kids show was terrible, that it's going to run on very obvious stupid themes, like having things be either, yeah. you know. I, like, okay, like, you guys should all, because they're all on YouTube. You can just type Garbage Fail Kids. Kids. Yeah. You should watch one. Um they're impossible to watch. They're I was whole, about to say, whole, I don't think that's no true. No sense. Because <laughs> yeah. like the first half of every episode, the Garbage Pail Kids go to a movie and then there's like a cartoon about the movie they're watching, which is half the episode and then they go on an adventure. But the Garbage Pail Kids, and this is very weird, can switch between their garbage version and their normal kid version. Oh, is this, was this a way At to will? make the show palatable? Or Yeah, uh, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and written by people that are, that are, like too high to find the remote. Like so that, I'm glad that's that's the level uh, they're at. I'm glad that for this kids show they took this very simple uh, premise of having kids turn from uh, horrifying monstrosities into regular children, and then layered on top of it the fact that they're all cinephiles and they pay yeah. so deep attention. Right, to that it. actually is part of it. Uh, whose question is it? Uh, I think it's to me. I think it's Brian. Yeah, Brian. All right, number nine to Brian. It was the most beautiful cake you've ever seen. I wanted to live in it. I could have. <laughs> God damn. God damn you, Mikey Newman. That was, that was me last week. <laughs> and I did. I lived in it for a week. It oh, I'm beautiful. sorry. This is actually uh, Donald Trump, Garbage Pail Kid, neither or Bonnie. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, something that Bonnie accidentally uh, texted Sorry, Mike. I forgot to mention that. Hold on, real quick. We have a we have a live quote picture here. Oh, <laughs> have you ever seen a poor person eat soup? No, because it's my soup. life is complete. <laughs> I've completed it. Thank you. Uh, okay, one more time, Mikey. Oh, people are tweeting me things too. I'm getting them over here. Oh, sorry. Okay, one more time. 
Number nine. It was the most beautiful cake you've ever seen. I wanted to live in it. I could have. <sighs> Just gonna flip a coin. I'll say Trump. Neither. Neither is correct. God damn! Back in the lead! God damn. I think you guys would be like, no one would ever say that. Okay, Mikey said it. Like that. Well, just... I, I, I mean, that's the thing is you're saying it's Trump, garbage pail kids, or neither. Let's no, face it, it's Trump, garbage pail kids, or Mikey Newman <laughs> saying these things. We're playing that's... against you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's it's why the friends. game is fun. All right, uh, number ten going to Justin, who was up by, by the way. A point. I can it totally six see. To five. I, that, that's another one we need to see on a, on, a, on a Trump picture, like at his wedding or something, <laughs> because like that is something that you could totally see him like winking on. Like I could have, like I could. Have. <laughs> I could that's, that's what puts it into like yeah crazy territory. All right, number ten. Somebody said, "I am the most popular person in Arizona." That's Donald Trump. Yeah, that's Trump. That is Donald Trump. Yeah! Which seems like a thing no one would ever believe that no other person has ever said, but then it's just like, well, it's no, well, that, To be honest, if, what if, called if, it out was the lack of specificity. The fact that he that he just said somebody said that. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. Fair. That's, yeah. That's, that's also, fair. I believe that was after um, the, like, John McCain stuff. And also, like, he's, like... A, BFFs with the Sheriff Joe guy who's oh, like Arizona, uh, Joe, I think. Joe Ar uh, Arpaio? Uh, Arapio? Uh, uh, Arepa? Is it Arapio? Arapio. Is it Arapio. <laughs> His name's Joe Arapio. Uh, Let's maybe stop saying that. Like, maybe, uh, <laughs> We're just saying so, that job for a very long time, Brian. <laughs> Arapio. This is Spanish for to Arapio. <laughs> oh, he was saying Rufio. Like from Hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, number 11 is going to Brian. Yes, sir. Yeah. Number 11. Your kids are a credit to garbage everywhere. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Let's, I mean, it's so obvious that... I'll that tell I'm, you what. This, this neither option changed the game, dude. I yeah, thought that right? you were That's yeah. why I added it. That's exactly why. I, I mean, am. it's like it's like he might as well. The quote might as well be, "Trust me, I'm a garbage pail kid." <laughs> I wanted to really put this one up, you know. It's one more like, time. Anyway, well, us garbage one more pail time. kids gotta stick together. <laughs> number time, no, yet another time, number eleven. Your kids are a credit to garbage everywhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll say that's GPK. Kid. That's that's so on. The, it, it, here's the meta game: is Mikey Newman could not hear that quote and not insist on putting it in the game. That's what I'm betting. So I'm gonna say GBK. Was it you kids or your kids? I'll tell you what, Justin. If it helps you, you kids, if it helps you think it through, perfect. just visualize it this way. We have a we have a graphic representation of what it might look might have looked like. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that was <laughs> quite happened already. Wow. The internet is amazing. <laughs> So it is misspelled. Amazing. We do have your instead of you, but it's very fast. <laughs> it's fine. I, dude, I don't care. Just keep doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Flood the internet with this shit. <laughs> um, yes. I'm going to say it's Garbage Fail Kids. It is Garbage Fail Kids. You yeah. Both the points. Uh, I, I, it was funny cause I wasn't going to include it. And my friend convinced me to, he's like, no, they'll think. Cause I was like, oh, it says garbage in it. But he was like, no, they'll think. I, that's, that's I, I, I would have gone, it was 50, 50 and I would have gone, I probably would have leaned toward neither, but the game theory said I couldn't, I couldn't take that chance. Turnabout's fair play, man. Well, as it turns out, we're in the final four, Justin, you were up by one point. I will say. Yep. That feeling you just had is about to eat you alive because I think these last four are just like flip your table. Like yeah. <laughs> the, this next quote, the yeah. No, I never. I'm never gonna cheat you like that. Oh, I never. God. I never do. You ain't never gonna do me wrong. That's fine. I ain't gonna do you wrong, boo. All right. Hey, number listen, twelve. Your word is your bond, and you work hard for things. And your this is a Michelle Obama quote. All right, go. Uh, is this going? This is number. 
12 is going to Justin? Uh, to me, so. yeah. 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 All right, yeah. Justin. Four snore and seven years ago. Great speech. I loved it. Four snore and seven years ago? All right. So that is almost certainly either garbage pail kids or neither. And I will say that is... Garbage pail kids. Mr. Brian. See, I, I'm in a desperate bid here at the end because I'm one behind. Um, I think it's garbage pail kids, but the whole chat room thinks it's neither. And so if you go by who wants no, to win. One, yeah, you're going it's by the him. logic that you're using, it's you should choose the same answer as him until you're sure that he's wrong. Yeah, but I'm never going to be sure he's wrong. He's always better at me than these things. Um, yeah, uh, oh. Also, yeah, don't read the chat. Don't cheat. That is cheating if you read the chat. You know, how is it cheating? You're just as good at fooling them as you are us. I don't understand. Um uh, okay, I uh, you know what I Sorry, I, 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 do I sent think, them the quiz ahead of time. I, I, I do think it's garbage pail kids. Do this? I, I do think it's garbage pail kids. All right, the answer is garbage pail kids. Yeah, yeah, the the uh, the uh, You're still in it. You still in it. The quote where that's listen. If there's one thing that I'm attuned to about Trump's super weird like sense of humor is that he's not a pun guy. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and that Luckily, is snore is not a pun. It's just a letter <laughs> replacement. So, All right. Number 13, Mr. Brian, Brian Driftwood. Yes, sir. It all started when I discovered the ancient Egyptians. Bleh. Let me try that again. It all started when I discovered that the ancient Egyptians used crazy paste to glue together the blocks of the mighty pyramids. <laughs> I... If that is a Trump quote, that is utterly delightful. <laughs> I will pay so much money to get that speech. <laughs> Number one, I feel like we should take the detour into the mini game of Ben Carson, Garbage Pail Kids, or uh, oh, neither. God. <laughs> that would help us certainly. We'll talk about I will say it's neither. Uh, read the quote again. Uh, actually, because he's already guessed, I can't. So those are the rules. Yeah. You guys Wait. have the request together, and I read it again as many times, but once one person has guessed, which is their duty. All right. Them, I what? I, it all started when I realized that you use crazy pace to hold the pyramids together. I'm going to say that that is neither. Garbage ball kids. Oh! That was the I know, I, crazy paste was the thing where I was like, I'm never going to get away with this. Well, and, and to be honest, uh, the the dumb name of crazy paste is like, I, I uh, yeah, all right, okay. I got Number 14, <laughs> Justin Groshit. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14. I feel like I got the obvious what pun. <laughs> And you, you just got. Like 10 feet I don't want to accuse Mikey of lazy Who's writing. Get away? <laughs> the New York Times. Are you want to see the New York Times? That's the New York Times, literally right there across <laughs> me. And um, people the are worst. calling me gr Justin Gross shit for money. Oh it's the God. best. <laughs> I'm sorry. All it's, right. Yes, I love it. It's exactly it's, how I want to live. Pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a new this meme. It's Donald this Trump. It's going great, guys. This I watch Night Attack with Brian Driftwood <laughs> and Justin Grosh. <laughs> that actually still works <laughs> as a quote. Oh my God. This is the best thing that's ever happened in my life. He's so gross. Right. He's the grossest. Go. Number 14. We need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain. In this country, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. that's Donald Trump. <laughs> you can't, you can't say it again because he already guessed. Um, I cannot. <laughs> we need brain, and by brain he meant blowjobs. <laughs> um, 
Uh, okay. Uh. Mm, mm. <sighs> How many trope quotes have we had so far? I will not yeah, tell you. Not, I, th I thought you were marking them down. Mm, they should have. That would have been smart, given that I told yeah. you how many there were. Yeah, but then the moment the moment I thought that, and then the, the moment I thought that, I thought Mike is a liar. <laughs> Whatever number you gave me is not going to be the real number. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, so uh, you said that was Trump. I'm going to say it was neither. I it think, was, yeah, I think it was neither. It was Trump. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I'm going to read it again real quick. We need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain. <laughs> <laughs> this country. And for the record, when I put this on here, my friend's like, that's not real. There's no oh. way he said that. Oh, he there was 100% the that he said that. 100%. And he was running out of time in the debate, and he's like, we need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain. <laughs> <laughs> in this um, country. And it was such and a yet weird not moment. Pinky. I uh who got that right? Yeah, Justin did. Justin, um, oh, and screwed. and I you're, failed you're because I misinterpreted question. your laughter. You were laughing because you couldn't believe Trump said it. I thought you were I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I literally couldn't read the quote aloud without laughing. Exactly. well, exactly. I it's thought impossible. you were laughing at your own genius for yeah, having written. I it. wish I well, that which is why I was so fine laughing at you. Because <laughs> I think it actually Whatever I do doesn't really tell you anything. Oh, no. This it's either is honest or duplicitous, and you have no idea where this I'm at. This third no. leg, the third leg of this is amazing. And also, can we please uh, uh, cheers to, to all of us, considering, like, I thought this was going to be impossible, and this would be a two You guys to are one. doing absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah, right? And by I the way, we went way away. over. For the a, over-under was three choice where one of them is Mikey fucked you, like... Amazing. <laughs> uh, Amazing. Yeah, no, listen. Uh, uh, over under was 13 and a half. So if you had the over, way, way over. You were laughing halfway through. No kidding. All righty. Number 15, starting with Brian. Yes, sir. This is a this is a quote so big. So huge. So earth shattering. Oh my. You might think it's all three. As a matter of fact, that's probably going to be your answer. Uh, number 15. Everywhere I look, it's pronouns and salad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A broken clock is right twice a day. And I think the crappy writers of Garbage Pail Kids would come up with a line like that. I'm gonna repeat go it, repeat it before he says something. Repeat I already did it. I said it. I said it. GPK. Repeat it. Repeat it. GPK. I, I, uh, I so yeah, does, there, the, chair, does the chair recognize that the request was in before? You, the request was in. The chair does recognize. Mm. Brian, I'm going to read it again. But I will let you reconsider your okay. answer if you'd like to. All right. The quote is, everywhere I look, it's pronouns and salad. It's GPK. Ryan does not. That mean. is Mikey Newman original. <laughs> Justin Gross shit. Justin GS, you just got another point. It Damn is it, 11. no way! No way! Eight. Eight. No to way! Eight. That's, pretty That's good. too random! That's too random! Yeah, you're welcome. welcome. Oh, damn! Dude, What's you that? just got swerved, I son! Damn! There's I, no way I, that, that was That was another <laughs> lap when I was, because we're, uh, we're trying to like combine things, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Pronouns and salad. That's it. God. There's memes. My life is so. I my heart is effulgent for you, for the audience right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. I don't think that either garbage mail kids or Donald Trump have ever used the term pronoun. That's why I knew it was. That's my fair. That's fair. <laughs> See where they were studying in school. Oh, I wasn't oh my it. god, there's so many. <laughs> oh, but you know, uh, uh, I think Bryce did a did an ad for domain, which was pronouns and salad, right? Uh, so wait, right, right, right. right. Is it wait, what? Huh? The salad, the salad. Oh, oh, we, oh we did, a, we did, that. We we did, did the did whole ad, ad of nothing but chicks eating stock salad, footage stock footage. Salad, yeah, that yeah. was amazing. <laughs> no pronouns, though. Yeah, uh, so there we go. What was the final score? 11, you had 11, and I had a burp, and Brian Driftwood had Yeah, eight. I ate a bag oh, of dicks which means, at the end. by the way, Brian, did it, collect did your, everybody who bet on Brian, collect your... Uh, did did collect I beat your, the over-under? 
Yeah, the over. No, no, the line was three and a half, and I won by three. Oh, that's great! Oh, dude, I beat the spread. Hey, <laughs> spread. <laughs> dude. How come you guys get such a delightful uh, monthly visitor, and I don't? <laughs> oh, you you get? Are you talking about your period? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. it right. Uh, hey, man. Uh, I think yeah. it's a great time. Hey, listen. All I see is pronouns and salads. So. <laughs> I think it's a great time for us to check in with the movie draft minute. What do you say, Bryce? Oh, Can no. We whip it up? <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, uh, oh, where is it? Oh, I had it. Here it is. Here it is. Here. All right. Uh, movie draft minute. Here we go. Welcome to Movie Drive Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of July 18th, 2016. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. You know, I was going to make a joke about the RNC and all the troubles in the world, but then it got a little too real. So you know what? Let's go jump into the world of fantasy movie drafting. Team We Have Concerns is in sixth place with $142 million. Team Core Killers is in fifth place with $475 million. Team DTNS is in fourth place with $513.3 million. Team Chainsaw Suit is in third place with $637.6 million. Team Man Truckers in second place with $667.1 million. And in first place, The Secret Life of Pets bringing in $203.4 million a week and Ghostbusters bringing in $46 million a week bringing their total to $728.3 million. It's Team Night Attack. And that is your Movie Drive Minute for the week of July 18th, 2016. Dude, first of all, number one, Bonnie is seriously considering unfriending people because they like the secret life of, pre- yeah. of pets. <laughs> like, she's losing her mind over that. I have known, I mean, God, Bonnie, I mean, I've known you as long as I've known Brian. Uh, uh, I have never seen you more active on social media <laughs> than about talking about the secret life all of pets. All of you, stop liking it. It was awful. I was like, I was trying to save people money. Like, we spent a fortune in popcorn and sodas. and, and, we, took, and we took the whole clan out, so it was five. Five of us, five tickets. That's a lot of popcorns and pizzas. And, I, was, and, I felt uh, betrayed. Beers. They had like, you know, cute pictures, and it looked like it was going to be another Zootopia, and it was not. So uh, I hope everybody at the Alamo Draft House enjoyed the second show. If they were if they were bored by the secret lights of life of pets, I hope they enjoyed the secret lights of the of Calliope's shoes as she ran around in circles <laughs> at the front of the theater because she was bored by the movie. That was amazing. Uh, all right, Justin, we're screwed. We're really out. yeah. DTNS not has, as screwed as I am. Uh, as five hundred. Oh. oh no, I'm sure you got another movie coming out, right? Nope. We're out. We, oh. we the Central Intelligence didn't do shit. Mm. Alice through the Looking Glass didn't do anything. Ninja Turtles barely did anything. Mother's Day was a flop. It was really Batman. It was not great for us. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna crush Cord Killers, and we have concerns though, at least, right? Oh no, yeah, we're we're fine. Like I think we're gonna stay in third. I'm just saying, like we we came out so hard, and then no, so you're not gonna late. stay in third. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Justin says, I'm going to go with neither. <laughs> no, because because the, 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 the team right behind you has two movies left. Oh, and you have no more movies. Yeah. Uh, no, we don't. No. Uh, well, we, we, put a, we put it in our... Valiant effort. Right. Valiant effort. So here's the problem. We, Ghostbusters... Well, actually, when you think about it, we kind of win anyway because we were in first place for the longest time. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> yeah, longest that counts. You guys, you guys held the belt. You held the belt yeah, for, for a nice Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody remembers X-Pac. Look, you whisper whatever Kings you need to you to your Jesus, whiskey right? sour. <laughs> that's fun. Just saying, it's not about who's winning at the end. It's it's just time. Yeah, it's a belt. It's Can about who's belt? X-Pac. Make me a belt. Yeah, uh, so, uh, Justin, uh, dude, Ghostbusters way underperformed in the opening. Uh, what did it do? $50 well, it, it million dollars today? We thought, what, we, what we thought it would do, it actually wound up doing uh, well compared to its tracking as it opened. Uh, but yeah, this is going to chug to about $100 million possibly you know, by the time everything's said and done. And that's less than what we had hoped. I mean, that, that's basically like a Melissa McCarthy movie, not a Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, gigantic property yeah. possibility to make $250 million movie. Yeah. yeah, but it could have also bankrupted the studio. So outside of the game, they I mean, got listen, man, good. we ain't got no. They're, they're doing good. The studios, uh, uh, people like it a lot. So. Uh, by the by the way, that that the one that uh, have you seen it yet? Is Ghostbusters good? I saw it. It's good. It's good. I, I wouldn't yeah. go. I, I wouldn't not, go past good. 
but it's good. Mm. I was not in love with it. I had Ghostbusters I had, I had, is my favorite movie of all time, by the way. Yeah, I had, it's I had, good. I had, problem, I, I, I had problems with it. It's not a reason to not go see it. And the no. primary reason why I didn't like it is because I've seen everybody in that movie do better stuff. And so that's, that's what my, my primary problem with it was, not necessarily even as a Ghostbusters movie, but just as a Christian Wig, Melissa McCarthy, Paul Feig movie. I thought it, 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 it was not to my expectations it's from a, those a, people. It's a setup for what could be a very, very good sequel. They need to ground it more. It's like, yeah, it's I don't know. Too, I mean, it's I, too poppy, too quick. And it's like, I would actually love new would, when to like slow down and just talk about bullshit. I would, I would actually love to, to kind of do uh, a, a bigger, a bigger deep dive with it, uh, with, with, with you, Mikey, because I think that we definitely have come from different perspectives on it. But I think we're ultimately kind of looking for the same thing, which is uh, some more of the world building that made Ghostbusters so amazing, uh, and and just that idea of like building this really fun universe with these really understandable things without necessarily just spending a full. 30 minutes saying like, anyway, the, the, the flip flop does the ding dong uh, yeah. while having this sort of weird Lovecraftian villain. And I think that those were two things that you know, didn't necessarily happen. And that's fine because that's not really Paul Feig's super strength. What Paul Feig's no, super strength is, is, is directing comedy and yeah. Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy weren't Under the you. kind of characters that I wanted them to be. And, and that disappointed me. Well, you, you don't want too many big personalities. Like, Actually, to 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 give the the simplest possible review between the two movies, and it's impossible to ignore the old movie versus the new movie, uh, especially when the original the, cast is showing up randomly. Yeah, for, which like, was no worthless. Reason. That yeah. that was clearly just whatever. But Ghostbusters one was about these guys that lost their job at universities, and 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 one of them mortgages his parents' house, and you know all these things like. They're starting a business. It's this thing they yeah. have to do. And we see the steps of building a business. And that's really wholly lacking in the new film. And that, yeah. that is the, the, that, the that, real that to me, problem. I mean, and also in terms of a soft uh, arc, it's a Peter Venkman redemption tale. You know, Peter Venkman is yeah. this kind of scumbag as we are introduced to him. He's, He's still a charming, kind of amazing. A scumbag at the end, though. Well, but, but, but by the but, end, we, but, but he risks his own life. Right. Yes. Like, and, yes. And makes he makes those decisions and he sticks up for his friend and he ultimately makes a small business work. And, and that is kind of there is this uh, larger sort of tale about New York within that in a time when New York was crumbling as a city. And that very much plays a part in it. But like there were these character arcs. And ultimately, here's my biggest problem is that they, they number one, here's my, my biggest, biggest, biggest problem. I, I know why Paul Feig wanted to make it a reboot and not a or sorry, a remake and not a sequel. But, like, God, it would have been just so much easier if they just would have said it in a world where ghosts went away because the Ghostbusters solved them, and now ghosts are coming back, and these women have to pick up the mantle, and people are mean to them because they're women who are Ghostbusters, and women shouldn't be Ghostbusters. They could ram all I the I would have walked away from that end point, it. but yeah. I mean, it just, I, instead it's of just it's having... It's inherently meaningless. People complaining that Ghostbusters are girls instead of boys are... Like well, that's you do not know no, no, the business but, but, but on this ju idea. Justin saying uh, teach the controversy. He's saying like put put I'm that in the don't. movie, make that part. The controversy yeah. well, no, no, is but irrelevant. That, 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 that's Doesn't a theme matter. that he wanted to deal with. That's a theme that Paul Feig has said he wanted to deal with, and it's a but reason he invented why. a con controversy, and then the controversy occurred. There's something a little weird there to me. Oh, like it's no, totally listen, fine. Listen, the, the 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 idea. But the of villain the was kind of predicated on that. I like they, he knew. Like the script was written knowing that this was going to happen and that how are you not just a little like Yeah, I I don't <sighs> I mean I, I, it's the, a hard, the biggest sorry I'm the, I'm put the, I this is actual feeling and emotion coming out cuz it no, feels No, no, no. It feels no, like I, he no, invented I, it. I, no, I know. I absolutely understand. Bit. And and that's the thing is that like the worst parts of the movie, for the, especially through the first third act, are them doing every stupid like scene to be like, what? Random graffiti artist? You're making the Ghostbusters logo. Like, what the hell's going on, right? Like, why do all these proton packs look like the proton packs from the original movie, but different, newer, cooler, updated versions? Well, because uh, uh, Kate McKinnon, who's brilliant and is, is a star in this movie uh, with capital S-T-A-R, uh, because she just invented them like that, and that's just what happened, and that's why they're going to this 
firehouse and that's why they're doing that's why leslie jones has a hearse and like there's there's just i don't know it, 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 it's it's it to me it just would have saved a lot of time and just could have shorthanded everything that they wanted to do if they just would have had it be something that was in that same universe so so the way the way i like really came to terms with this movie and began to love it is is and this is i i look no further than the kate mckinnon's character because i'm going to say this and everybody's going to go oh no he's right uh, it's not a, a reboot or a remake of Ghostbusters the film. It is actually a remake or a reboot of the real Ghostbusters TV the show. Cartoon, and yeah. look no further than Kate McKinnon. Oh, dude, yeah, she's clearly Egon. Egon from yeah. yeah, no, Egon. Egon show. looks totally different from the movie for some random reason. And, and if you've ever seen the pictures side by side, yeah, no, totally, totally agreed. Egon from the movie has uh, like a bouffant that is brown. And uh, in the cartoon, he's got some rad ass curly blonde Q, hair, right? ponytail, exactly. blonde thing going. I mean, going. he looks exactly like Kate McKinnon. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. So here's why we're going to lose the movie draft, Justin, is because we have a two hundred and thirty million dollar lead over DTNS. So we have two hundred thirty million dollars plus whatever's left in the tank from yeah. the third week on of Secret Life of Pets and Ghostbusters second week on. Yeah. What do you think that number is? So it's 230 now. Uh, figure a 50% drop for Ghostbusters, which makes it go from 48 to 24. Two, so it's so 20, 25, yeah. Um, and so, then Secret Life of Pets was under 40 because it came in second, right? No, Secret Life of Pets retained number one. Oh, it did? With yeah, but what? it's gonna but it's definitely now it's competing with Ice Age Collision Course. Bon, okay. Bonnie just Bonnie just made a frowny face at the very thought of it being number one for a second week. <laughs> um so I'm gonna say fifty million last week. Yeah, fifty million. Um okay. I mean that, so that's, that's seventy five million. So then, that means our total lead, our total budget goes to like call it two uh, two seventy uh two two ninety, maybe. Yeah. You're telling me Suicide Squad plus Star Trek Beyond makes less than 290. Well, I mean, I mean, we'll probably wind up legging that out to probably 320, 340, right? Okay, if we're if we're lucky, and you're telling, let's go with that. Let's say, yeah. uh, do you think those two make less than 320? I don't know. I mean, did you hear that thing where if you watch the new Star Trek, you get uh, dead? <laughs> You catch oh. the dead. Yeah, yeah you no, catch no. being dead. Uh, it turns out a lot of people were watching it to review it, and every movie critic is dead time, now. Time Did time. you hear that? Dude, Chuck, Chekhov that. died. Chekhov, the, the actual oh, actor. Guys, I really, Wait, why God, did you make it real? Me. But, I love Anton Yeltsin. He was amazing. Yeah. He, he, he had no mean bone in his body, yeah, and pause, a really shitty pause. thing happened to him. Happened? It's just not happened? fucking funny at all. In my head. I was going to say, I'm like, AIDS. And I'm like, no, AIDS is too mean. Then I'm like, cancer. No, cancer's too mean. So I just went with dead. The <laughs> general is this what the RNC does thing. And then you're like, no, wait. Guys, someone died. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> um, oh, we're bad. Too, you're too tuned in to the news right now. You don't even know you're channeling it. <sighs> uh, Did yeah. you see that also Brian called the turkey coup two weeks ago? I taught. Oh yeah! Coup. Wait, did I? Yeah. What did I say? I said I, the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. No, I predicted. Uh, the, did the, you talk the about how their Turkey. currency has Dracula on it? <laughs> oh oh shit! <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, dude, that was a we thing. I've never. That was that. the. Yeah, people were freaking out. Yeah. Dracula was all. Anyway, go ahead and check bed. out that album. Which album is that on? Is that on the second one or the first That's one? The first, first one. First one. First yeah. one, Night Attack. Man, we're referencing a lot of first. That's uh, Dukakis and Bush, right? Dukakis oh and Bush yeah. with the, the Dracula turkey. <laughs> you just uh, look at the picture. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Call up a picture of turkeys, buddy. I mean, what are they going to do? Uh, shut down the Twitter again? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, so, Mikey, how do you... There, do you there it is. It? There it is. Look at that dude and tell me that's not Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie comes in. She draws two fangs on that. <laughs> a little it bit of dripping like blood. It looks like Ian McKellen had sex with a turtle. <laughs> and then... <laughs> 
That guy it looks uh, like Ian McKellen had sex with Mr. Turtle from the Dana Carvey <laughs> film Master of Disguise. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey man, you want to do a little diamond time? Uh, sure, but you have to bring it up because I don't have all my stuff. Here, all right, so that's fine. Uh, Diamond Time of, is, of course, our opportunity to shout out your projects. Head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com or reddit.com slash r slash diamond club and vote on the sticky post that says weekly Diamond Time submissions. And we'll talk about your project just like this. Capricious Tenacity says, <laughs> Howdy, folks. Tall Beer Dude here. Oh, I'm so glad we finally get to talk about this. Um, uh, Tall Beer Dude. Yeah, because he sent us an email like, forever ago, and neither of us responded to it because we're bad. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, and by the way, we're, I'm working on a secret project with Tall Beer Dude. He is amazing and super, super talented. I cannot, I, uh, it's top secret. I can't talk about it, but I can talk about this. Uh, Tall Beer Dude says, You may wonder what I'm up to when I'm not making awesome beer or looming over short people. Well, mind your own damn business. Actually, I designed board games, and my game Fire of Eidolon just hit Kickstarter. Fire of Eidolon is a cooperative dungeon exploration game in the style of SNES-era video games. Up to six people can play in about half an hour, with each player controlling a hero with unique abilities. The dungeon is a procedurally generated... Um, so no two games are alike. Explore the dungeon, defeat monsters, and steal back the ancient artifact from an evil sorcerer to save mankind. The game goes from calm and collected to a down-to-the-wire sprint as the dungeon collapses around you. My publisher has agreed to add Easter eggs for the first 10 and 100 backers that add a Diamond Club symbol that's uh, less than greater than to their social media posts or comments on the campaign. Holy crap, we get to buy into being an Easter egg on this? Oh, my God. And by the way, he's already blown past his initial thing, which he needs to if he wants to make a board game. Uh, uh, but, take take yeah. it from Justin. Uh, no, no, no. That, that's that's amazing. And 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 that wait, is, hold on. Uh, let, let me give the URL. Yeah, go, it's, go, go. It's yeah. Tinyurl.com slash tall beer dude for the Kickstarter page. Uh, oh my gosh, guys, guys. Tall beer dude is a dear, dear friend of Diamond Club. He's one of the best people on the planet. He's working with us on other stuff, and uh, this is an awesome, rad ass experience. In fact, um, uh, uh, Justin, I know you won the belt, but I say both of us back this thing as soon as it's done. Oh, absolutely. No, I want to I want to get it. And in fact, I'm going to back it and then harass him because he lives in San Jose. I'll just go drive down and pick one up. <laughs> back it and harass it. <laughs> <laughs> not a not a great catchphrase. Uh, yeah. Hey, can I can I come clean about something? Yeah. I I I never I, I won the bill and I didn't back whatever cuz I can't remember who I was supposed to back. Like I slept. I didn't back it that night and yeah. then I'm like, "Oh wait. So can somebody just like uh, yeah, no, it was the GoFundMe for the uh, for the uh, like funeral expenses for someone. Oh, is that yeah. still out there? Oh, yeah, darn. Yeah. Maybe they watch Star Trek. <laughs> you beat me to it, you oh. bastard. You might be able to find it on dctvpedia.com, our wiki. Yeah. Ah, the wiki. People are dying watching that movie, bro. Like, it's a real problem. You should probably not go see it. Is what I'm trying to say. It's it's a real problem. I love all of you. Please don't Scale die. E. That's a tagline from another show. <laughs> Scale E says, hey there, Diamond Club. It's not for me or for even my family that I turn to you cap in hand, but for some dear friends of mine who are in a really, really S-word situation. My two, I guess I could say it because I'm going to back this uh, Kickstarter shitty situation. My friends had two happy, healthy German shepherd dogs. Then one night they returned home from work to find some sick MFR had Oh, God, I don't even want to say. I've done some what? terrible stuff. What the hell is going on? The dog, something. They can't afford it. They just... Bashed him in the leg. But, all right, so there was some very, very violent uh, dog dogs. stuff. Dog stuff. Uh, here's an amazing uh, GoFundMe to make sure that you can take care of some of the medical bills. Can we get the uh, the URL? Yeah, it's bit.ly slash YOLO420 broke dog swag. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, I would I, have suggested I, against that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I assume he means the dog is n not doesn't have a lot of money. I'm just saying, if you're trying to extract money from people, I wouldn't have five of those words anywhere. Near my <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, well, four of them are tradition. This is partly, yeah, is is trying to fit into the the tradition of URLs. Uh, oh, uh, but, he's SEO guys. Yeah, so SEO. so that, that, that's it. Uh, Bit.ly slash broke dog swag. No, no, uh, no bit.ly slash YOLO420 broke dog swag. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Well, there, of course. Um, 
So here's the thing. Uh, we, we could have read, and, and he went into detail about how this dog got injured. I know that that, you know, I remember in, in newspapers, if, if you run, we used to have to be very careful about what we ran in terms of dog injuries because, like, nothing brings uh, passion up like injuries to animals. This is very graphic. If you want to go read it, go ahead and read it on the Reddit. But either way, if you are sympathetic to animals, then go ahead and kick in some money to this. I know they, they ain't looking for a lot, so any little bit helps a lot. Yeah, man. Uh, Scotty Emo says, what's up, Chat Realm? You like books? You like D&D-style adventures through exotic worlds? You like Nickelback? If you answer yes to two out of three of those questions, then you'll love my book, Qu Quitzel Corp. Uh, Quetzalcore, a tale of dicks and douchebags. <laughs> I wrote it last summer after a D&D campaign went awry and I decided to immortalize the tale in ebook form. A tale filled with chili eating contests, giant spiders on Mars, and a loving family of Sasquatches. Quetzalcore is a tale for all ages, except for most of the ages. It's honestly just the 18 <laughs> to 24 demographic. <laughs> Give the ebook a read at bit.ly slash shitty book swag yellow 420 <laughs> and leave a review. Thanks, Diamond Club Civil. P.S. I'd also like to extend an offer to Brian and Justin to get day drunk at Epcot when they come to Orlando for CreateCon. My GF works for Disney and we have free guest passes to the park. What? You don't say! Woo! <laughs> Done well. Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, if you want uh, all lowercase, it's yolo420.com slash shitty book swag. Uh, and I'll, I'm all about that book. That sounds great. <laughs> man, that was, uh, uh, that's Diamond Time. Hey, man, dude, what a hell of a show. We learned we did that. It. Uh, we, did, we did it, guys. Yeah. Uh, we triumphed over evil. We, uh, uh, we, we found out the secret uh, that lies within. Donald Trump's heart. Um, oh, real quick, uh, preview. Can we can we get a can we get uh, some inside intel on the next movies with Mikey? Oh, it's t it's a twofer. Uh, so the last movies of Mikey was uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Mm -hmm. You should go check that out. It actually can I, didn't can get I, as can many I review views your as I review? I thought it was going to get. I, so you can, I, can I review your sure. your your Prisoner of Azkaban review, Mikey? Yeah. Because I loved it so much, oh. like I love, I love all the Mikey uh, reviews. But I feel like you, I feel like you need a sequel to the Prisoner yeah, of Azkaban. I, I do, kind because of, I, I went sixteen minutes on it, and it's like I, you need sixteen more. No, uh, you were like, you, we, we like might, you we got... might come back to it. That's like an odd movie to need to a two part thing for. No, but they're, no, they're no, actually, no. I, like I, I, I big, I, I dug up some big ideas. I think. No, because I think that's that's why is that you made this like huge grand unifying theory as to why this is very very important to why all these movies kind of yeah. are as important and as good as they are past it, uh, and and then you're like. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's, like, these nine other things that I could talk about, but this review is too long. Bye-bye, I'm Mikey. Like, and <laughs> well, and part of that was the joke of, like, because, uh -huh, I mean, there's, like, hey, welcome to Movies Mikey. This is Mikey doing the thing. And uh, there's this part. And then it, it, I was just, I didn't want to talk about time travel from Harry Potter and the Prison of Ask. Like, there's, I'm not going to teach you anything. I wanted to teach you why that movie was important within within the, the history of film and like what it became, not necessarily that we did the climax twice in a row. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know I, it, was sort, it was sort of a joke about all the things that other people would have talked about more than things I actually want. Except wanted. for here's the problem is that you, you obviously establish yourself as, as having such an interesting perspective that like I was excited I, or it would be. And this doesn't even have to be in a review. I just need to be in a room with you and we can just talk about it. Like, yeah. so whatever. Uh, but uh, I, I thought it was great. And you have, you have a great perspective. I, like I, you do so with all that, that's because this, this has come up a few times and I'm, I'm sort of like actively not fighting the read because, yeah, I'll hint at other things. People are like, why didn't you do more of that in the video on this? I actually don't mind the mystique of I didn't tell you everything I think or know about this movie. Like, yeah. I don't mind you always thinking that I know more than that. There's I put more. In yeah. Uh, that, yeah. I mean, that's a, you, a you don't want to burn out all the fuel and have nothing in the tank and have everybody know. Yeah. It. I want you guys to be like, man, there's stuff. He, I don't know. I hope I meet him someday and we can talk about, it. you know, like that. That's good, which is what you were saying. It yeah. certainly it certainly is. I mean, although if I if, if we weren't friends and we haven't met in person, but I hope to one day, then I would be frustrated. 
Like, I feel like now I'm cool with it because I'm pretty sure at some point we'll be in the same place and I'll be able to corner you and just talk just to you about the pack, prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Uh, well, but I, yeah, no, listen, uh, uh, no matter what, great job. They've been great as, uh, as, as, as always. And I think that the, the, the whole channel has hit just like an awesome stride. Yeah. yeah. I didn't answer Brian's question yet. Yeah, what you got uh, so coming the next, up? So uh, at the end of this one, the ones I put up for vote were... Mission Impossible 3, which I do at some point want to very much talk about, Interstellar, and Galaxy Quest. Did, wow, there tell, you go. Tell There's me it was Interstellar, thing. right? Uh, so Galaxy Quest in a landslide. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I mean, a we're call. We're talking like 80% of the votes. Was uh, it, is, it is a wonderful, wonderful movie, but I, I think I, Interstellar I, is... Well, that, that wasn't the whole announcement. Oh, what? Just, just slow down. I'll, I'll feed you. Uh, uh, I, I did... Announced the next day. I, I usually wait a week to announce the winner of the voting because you can't really tell. But this was such a landslide. I announced Galaxy Quest on Twitter. Yeah. And then five minutes go by and I said, actually, I'm going to do a two for I'm doing Interstellar. Yeah, well. good. Um, I'm doing it back to back. The yeah. Interstellar episode is going to be Interstellar. Gonna, um, I've been uh, waiting to talk about that for so long. Can, can, can so I tell you, like, uh, I was really, really shocked at how much better I liked Interstellar upon my second viewing, and that's that was at home. But that like, makes a big difference. Uh, uh, and and one of the uh, one of the underrated, or 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 I haven't heard people talk about it very much. The score is awesome and haunting. Like that that that's organ. Uh, what's that? I was saying it was amazing. Like the the if you went to see it in IMAX, that organ, like when it, because it comes in like halfway through the movie, kind of randomly. Yeah, well, and it's just, just like, boo, like this organ hits you in IMAX. They had that shit so cranked up, it like vibrated your chest, and wow. it was like, this is what space feels like. Well, like I am uncomfortable. Exactly right. It felt haunting and alone, and yeah. it made me terrified. It made me uncomfortable, and it made me feel abandoned by all the human race, which of course was the entire point. Uh, I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm excited for both these. These are going to be great. Uh, I'm very excited about both of them. Galaxy West, I think, is going to be a little funnier. Interstellar, I'm going to go pretty, pretty deep. So well, and that's <laughs> we'll see. You know, especially with with the Nolan films, there's always going to be a lot there and i'm excited yeah. for interstellar because i i dug it in the theater but i definitely don't feel like i totally crocked it as a movie like i feel like i i got it as a story and and i wasn't necessarily left too hanging on on some of the the sci-fi fantasy plotty elements to it but i don't know if it if it hooked me like other nolan movies hooked me so i'm excited to hear you talk about it yeah, it's it's hard. Like they're they one of the things I think I offer the viewers, like the people that stick around and want to hear what I have to say, is like perspective is very important. Like the way you watch the movie, I think wine and film have a lot in common in really weird ways. But like Interstellar is a movie that if you watched it by yourself, I am confident you did not enjoy it as much as if you watched it with someone you deeply love. Can I uh can I tell and that you that I think is a very important. Uh, this is me tapping my nose for all the audio listeners. Uh, I watched that movie with my at the time ten year old daughter. And that's not fair. That's no, like that performance is fair, enhancing that's, drugs. That's, that's, that's I mean, it was the, the there was a brief moment during one of the space scenes where it's dead silent in the theater except for just the blubbering, sobbing sounds of my daughter. The entire oh, she room. she lost it, not you. Liz, well, well you know, especially, spoiler alert, in that moment where he's going into the black hole and everything's very tense and it's very silent and she's watching a dad die and I'm watching, you know, a dad leaving. We cried at different moments, the two oh, of us. Uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, it, 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 yeah, anyway, can't wait, can't wait to hear about it. Um, uh, dude, good episode. That was a lot of fun. That was... Uh, I, I uh, hope so. Yeah. Hope we survived. Like this, this is me subtly trying to cue Bryce to start the lullaby. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, dude, thank you so much. Movies with Mikey. Uh, Mikey at Mikey Face on Twitter. Yeah, check uh, me out. I say funny stuff sometimes. Justin, uh, btlive.tv, is that what it is? Yeah, btlive.tv. Uh, uh, also, just go ahead if you are on Apple TV, then uh, check out the uh, BitTorrent Live app, uh, also on uh, Amazon Fire TV. Real quick, Contender. Contender is the cheapest it will ever be during the conventions. We're selling the base deck and both expansions for $49.99. So if you haven't bought it, like, for real, it's called the New Deal. Just, like, scroll down uh, at home or catalog there. 
uh, and uh, and you'll you'll see it. The the new deal. Look at that. Forty nine dollars ninety nine cents. Both both expansions politically incorrect and the 2016 uh less than 50 bucks super cheap awesome 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 dude i love you guys we'll see you next tuesday die on a fire i mean if you watch star trek oh it's fire that kills them because <laughs> fire comes at you in space night attack night attack night attack night attack Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>